There are a couple of different ways that you can approach mapping MIDI controls and assigning things to your controller in Monarch. One of them is the simplest of all, just right-clicking on any assignment, anything you want to be assigned, and using the MIDI Learn function. You can do this with buttons, right-clicking it, and MIDI and OSC Learn. Or you can do this for knobs as well, switches, anything. Right-click it, MIDI Learn, and then touch the thing that you want to control it and start playing. So let's say I want to control cutoff. I guess cutoff is the thing you can hear kind of the most affecting. I'll right click it, I'll hit MIDI learn, and I'll turn a knob on my controller. And now that's it. That thing. Now controls it. So pretty cool. You can control multiple things with the same knob if you want. I can MIDI learn resonance filter as well. So that's kind of cool. Another way that you can have it learn stuff is based on just sort of Monarch's built-in modulation source and controller things. So we're talking about the modulation sections of each of the oscillator and the filter that's automatically being controlled by the mod wheel so already the mod wheel has sort of a built-in mapping and i can tell it to control the oscillator pitch with the mod wheel or the filter envelope with the mod wheel but there's a few other things that you can do if you want to get down into the nitty-gritty of sort of midi programming and that is to go over here so i can see the controllers this cc10 is the thing that i just mapped I already told it to go to two things. Um, it's adjusting Monarch's resonance and Monarch's cutoff. I can go down here to get rid of all of the unused things and just use specific things. Now, let's say I don't want that to control resonance anymore. I go to the resonance one and I trash it, and now it controls just cutoff. So that's kind of cool. I can put it back on again by dragging and dropping. So... Now that I've got that CC10, anything I want it to do, I set it the target of it to um, the device, and it does it. So if I want that CC10 to control something else, I can click it, drag it, and say CC10 now also controls load. So now that really that sound is going to change. gets very aggressive as I turn it. So that sort of drag and drop, um, that sort of drag and drop interface is really cool. I can have it add some more controllers for things that I don't want to map just yet, but I know I want to be able to use them. So I can just click on the MIDI learn and then move something, click it again. Let's try it. I'll just click on the MIDI learn, move something, then click it again. And there's CC10 channel eight. Well, as you can see, there's a couple of different ways that you can use your controller to map to specific things and controllers in Monarch. That's why it's very handy to be able to change those settings, your audio MIDI settings, because maybe you want, your keyboard might not have those knobs, but you have a separate thing that you want to do to control just the knobs of Monarch. It's great to be able to get up in there and do that. So MIDI mapping in Monarch is pretty user-friendly.